Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within the Cursed Estate and we have readied a team to head out into, I believe we're going to go into the wield to fight some infested corpses. We do have the chance of coming across this guy here, but we're stacked up with bleed and blight, so we shouldn't have too hard of a problem with that. We're bringing Felfa here. She hasn't been out in a while. We're giving her the legendary bracer to offset the damage from the otherworldly bell. Um, and the otherworldly bell here is basically going to mean that when we get kills, we're going to self-heal and heal our allies, which is really nice. Uh, then we've got a rookie here who hasn't been out in quite a while. We've actually got something interesting on a rookie. So she has her base bleed on Lacerate, but she also has these two skills here, which do damage to multiple enemies, especially Steam Vent. So I've gone with Elizabeth's head, which on attack hit gives bleed, but then I've paired that with the bloody rapier. We get slightly less damage as a base, but our bleed chance goes up, our bleed amount applied goes up, and we get a 10% crit versus bleeding enemies. So I think that should be an interesting combo, and one that I'm kind of likely to use a little more often and then we've gone for kind of a classic on isaac focus ring for that extra accuracy a little bit of crit and we've gone with the uh the head to bonus his blight skill chance as well as giving bonus amount of blight applied i think this should lead to a pretty good comp uh mainly going to be using isaac to put down blight and buff uh felther felther's going to be doing most of the killing a rookie is going to be applying debuffs, like the accuracy debuff there, um, as well as dealing damage when possible and applying bleed. And then Lucas here, we didn't actually cover his, is going to be healing so, so much. So for the one thing here, um, he has the silver syringe and the pentadimensional autonomy by Emmanuel Manskopolov, blah, 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 blah. Essentially, this is the most healing you can ever get because it's plus 70%. Now, you may be thinking, oh, but don't you have a... Um, crystalline one yes i do but i actually think the hypercubic respirator is better used when you're using this guy as a stress healer non-actual healer and while we can do we can also do that too i think that this works better um and the herding tactics here gains the chance to mark so we're going to be keeping that on as well i think this should be a pretty good thing and also we are upping our chance to cure that um that bleed and when hit minus five crits received is also really good this should be a very good group let's jump on into this and see exactly what we can uh we can get done we have a lot and a lot of diary entries today all of which are fantastic written by ta as as usual he is the resident writer for this series now we get a few diaries from other people here and there but for the most part T is going to be the main writer. Um, so if, if any of you, by the way, that are watching ever do want to get involved in the writing for this series, either write them in the comment section or, or let me know and I can uh, I can add you to the Discord because um, we don't have that many writers. So it's, it'd al I'd always welcome more if people wanted to join. But either way, we do have a few to go on. So let's uh, jump into this and we'll jump into our first diary entry. And this is for Will June, our heir from the last episode where he had his heart attack. The writing is frantic and shaky. And this is while they were in the ca uh, during their camp. I do not know why I've come here. Despite an abundance of torches, those fools have elected to keep ourselves in the dark where we are vulnerable. All sorts of creatures creep in the darkness. They are all coming for us. One wrong move and I'll end up dead. I should have stayed home and studied. I can't focus on my notes that I've brought with me. And that thing that's fighting with us, it's not even human, not alive, neither of them. Why do we fight with these monsters? And then the narration above, not just him, the narrator says, It was then that Will glanced upwards from his notebook and looked upwards towards the manor. What he saw shocked him, a flash of red, the sky piercing inwards towards him, spirals of flesh enveloping the decaying structure that was once his home. Hundreds of eyes stared into his soul. They had seen him now, and he had seen it. Will jumped up from his resting place. Some papers went flying into the embers of the fire, igniting them. These flames illuminated the area for just long enough for the rest of the party to watch Will back away into the dark, fear-stricken before his breathing paused. Will grasped his chest and felt a growing cold deep inside, and could not feel a pulse. He tried to speak, but couldn't get any words out before collapsing. But thankfully, due to Sophia's quick thinking, she managed to revitalise Will's heart with an incantation bringing him back to the edge of death they carried on will took one last hesitation look hesitated look towards the manor it looked normal that was just chilling that was chilling that was amazing <laughs> these diary entries are so good right we're jumping in 
right here. Hopefully we'll have a good time. We do got to remember to loot with this guy because he can loot firewood just in case. We don't need it, but it would be nice if we get it. But I think this group will perform really, really well. I think this group will perform really, really well. So let's give it a go. Uh, nice dodge already, Felfa. That's very nice. Uh, we're taking the hex here. Um, this is going to mark us. That's fine. Um, we're going to buff straight away. And that's the best player here. Um, I didn't actually think that a lot of these enemies are going to have high blight resist in here. But then again, there's also a good amount that don't. So we shouldn't worry about that all too much. Let's go with that. That marked all of them. Oh, damn. Um, and then let's lower that accuracy and apply a bleed. There you go. Lots of those applied a bleed there. Very nice. Okay, we are taking some bit, some higher damage here, but that's okay. Ren the marks. I don't think so. Let's take you out with a huge crit. Nice. Almost dead. Two rounds and you'll be you'll be gone. Embrace the darkness. Here's, here's the stress coming in. This is going to build up relatively quickly, but we, we shouldn't worry too much. Um, I'm going to stun you. He did, he did resist, but he did move him. Okay, this should kill him. Oh, one damage. The bleed will kill him, but that's that's kind of annoying. Uh, let's iron spawn you to stop the uh, stop the damage coming in. And this uh, buff self Salamander's breath minus fifty percent damage received. Oh, good. Let's let's go with that then. Salamander's breath. Here we go. Less damage received, more damage dealt. Applies more bleed onto these guys. I think this works out quite nicely. And let's go with... Let's go with a heal here. Healing for 10. Very nice. Rends are marked again coming in. The damage from that's relatively high, so we do have to be careful there. We should be okay for the most part. <sighs> yeah, two big hits coming in. These guys in the back should be able to handle this, though. Um, let's just go for a hit here. They do have some prop, but we can... Get our way through that for the most part here. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Nice, huge heal. And I think we can. I think we can blight these guys. Ah, oh, they, they, their resist is high, but we do have quite high chance, so it's not that bad. This is really good for getting bleed on them. I like to think that the gas she's firing is just melting their skin. <laughs> it's just making them bleed. Like that's that's the logic of that, at least. It's that hot. Um, let's go for you because we'll get a kill. And then... Yeah, let's just make sure everyone's healed up again. Let's see, can we blight these guys? We can. Okay, good to know. I didn't really think about that with Isaac, but it, it's fine. One of the biggest reasons we're bringing him is for the curing blight and also the... Uh, yeah, we can leave that. Curing blight... Um, if we want to use this, switch over to at any point. And really for his invigorating vapors. I think that that's kind of the bigger reason that we're bringing him along. Use the wrong person to open that. Uh, we'll get rid of that. Okay, let's keep going. Quite a few fights here. We're looking for the infected corpses. So let's uh, have a little look on our maps if we've got anyone. Yeah, there's a quest location there. Nothing yet. But yeah, we haven't really used a rookie too much yet, but I'm, I'm, I'm like, I really do like the Salamander class, so I want to use her more often. We've got the surprise here, which is very nice. Um, we'll start off with this, because it's going to probably mark. I can't believe that's a guaranteed chance to mark. Like, it said may mark, and every time so far, it's, it's hit everything with full-on marks. That's really good. Um, yeah, we get that on you. Damn, if, your, your blight resist is really high as well. I did not think this through. It's okay. It's okay. But I should have I should have thought this through a little more. Okay, the stress is coming in a little bit here. But we're managing it with crits. Dead meat, that's okay. Our dog strike back. We definitely need to heal ourselves up here. Um Let's just heal ourselves up. There you go. And that big stress heal as well coming in, which is really, really nice. There you go. Them guys can die to blight. I know this is going to be a bit of an overkill, but I'm going to do that anyways. When we use Steam Vent, we're only going to take the minus 50% damage anyways. So we're only taking like three damage rather than six. I was hoping that thing would die in a single hit. It's probably going to get a turn now, isn't it? No? I'm going to go for the kill. And that's more important. And it works out just fine. 
defensive. Awesome. We'll definitely want to grab that with us and get rid of the blood. We want to be getting as much money as possible here. I did actually upgrade a lot of the towns, um, the towns buildings before this episode started. I forgot to show that off, but a lot of them are fully upgraded now. Yeah, it's marking every single time. Okay, unfortunate dodge there. Because Felfa hasn't gone yet, let's uh, give her the strike. Almost got a kill. We are going to take some stress here, though. As you can see, everyone's actually doing okay on stress apart from Isaac, really. The Eldritch push. That is going to hit us. Shouldn't matter all too much, I don't think. Okay, the spores are coming in. Okay, taking horror. We don't have any loud in them. Nice. You're bleeding. Hit you with that. Sets up that bleed. Okay, nice dodge on the stressful incantation there. That's really good. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Because these guys can actually be blighted pretty easily. And that's basically both of those taken care of. I think we lacerate you. There's a crit as well. So a lot and a lot of bleed on you now. Uh, one cool thing as well that I didn't even talk about. Invigorating Vapors only has two uses per battle, but this refreshes that. So if we're if we're in a longer battle, this will be really, really useful with that. Uh, it'd be quite, quite nice to get those together. Um, do you know what? Let's just do that. Set up strike. even more bleed. We didn't actually get any bleed there, but we set up the repose at least. A death by inches. A death by inches. Good. Both the stress dealers are gone. Oh, unfortunate miss there. Um... You might be able to take a blight. Yeah, we got it. Nice one. That's 18 damage right there. And let's just party heal. Why not? Easy. We are building up some huge damage here. Um. Yeah, let's go. Th yeah, let's go this way first because it opens up inventory slots. Make sure we're using this guy. Want to see if we find any more of that firewood? Ooh, we got a big boy. Blighted Giant. Luckily, we got the surprise, and we might be able to get a good amount of damage off on him straight away here. I think we start off with that. And then we... Yeah, we lower his accuracy. His accuracy is already relatively low. I think lowering it even more is a good idea. We get him marked. Not that marking's too important here. Hit him for 15. That's good. Okay. We're just hoping that this accuracy debuff... Helps out a lot, and so far, it looks like it is. Curse of Vulnerability is definitely problematic, especially if we get hit, but luckily we uh, didn't take the debuff there. That's very nice. We did get two attacks in a row, unfortunately, but we dodged it. Um, yeah, so... Oh, we can clear horror with this. I didn't even realize. Only 55% chance, but that's still very good. Let's keep doing this, because this hits the back line as well. We buff you up again. There we go, and we can see the stacking damage coming in. And we keep going on the accuracy debuffs as well. Even though we didn't get it that time. I think the accuracy debuffs are very important for him. Um, we did unfortunately get hit there. Bit of blight coming in. It's not too much though. Um, and there you go, he's gone. Indeed he does. Okay, nice miss. So let's try and cure that blight off us. We did, we did indeed cure it, nice. And there you go. You're dead. I don't know why I did that, but either way. Die, she-devil. She's gonna die on her turn. Just let, let it happen. There you go. Just let it happen. Um, Yeah, keep going this way. This is our quest location right here. We might have a battle here. We might not. We don't. As one of the infected corpses taken down. We've got to move on this way just in case. We didn't get any scouting for this, sadly. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. Indeed, purpose is made clear. Right, grab that. There it is. We looted some firewood. That, the fact that that's even anything on any character is absurd. <laughs> that shouldn't exist on any character. And especially not a character that's already quite powerful like i'd say that i'd say that lucas um our rescuer is 
probably the most powerful class out of any of the classes that we have, considering the fact that he has, like, repurst, he now has marking, he has a massive stress heal, he has good AoE healing, he can cure horror, blight, and bleed, even if some of them are on lower chances, and then on top of all of that, he can find... My god, two of these in a row. He can, on top of all of that, he can find firewood. It's just absurd how powerful Lucas is. I like having him with us, definitely. It's useful. All of these are curios, okay. Unfortunately, it didn't actually reveal the runes for us. Okay, we do have some bloodsuckers. There's a good chance here that we, uh, that we take on some curses. Let's be cautious. We want to be getting kills as quickly as possible here. That's our primary concern. Um, yeah, these guys can be bled. So let's do that. There you go. I'm going to stun you and shuffle you. Resisted the stun, but you got the shuffle. Nice. I should, yep, yeah, should kill you. Good. We're going to have two moves coming in here. We're most likely going to get the curse here. Unless they do maddening wine. That does help. Do that again. Yes! <laughs> Even if you hit, that's much better. I'm going to be killing these guys off as quickly as possible. You're going to get another turn. Come on, uh, rookie. You're okay. Bit of stress coming in, but nonetheless, you're all right. Isaac, you'll be okay. Isaac is... Isaac's very intrigued right now. I'll say that for sure. Isaac is very intrigued. He, uh, he's a very, he's very invested and he's put a lot of research into, into looking into this. Did not mean to hit him. Damn it. Didn't mean to hit him. He has good stun resist and I keep hitting him back. And, um, but he's very interested about this, uh, really a miss about this curse, um, and seeing what it's all about. So getting up on the front line and seeing these blood suckers face to face is quite an interesting prospect for him, I think. He's probably going to have taken some samples home to study, I'd reckon. I can definitely see that happening. And Felfa gets the kill for the heal for everyone. What we get here? Oh, we don't need that. Okay, luckily no one took on the disease here, which is very nice for us. No more firewood there. Yeah, we're going to have to take all the different routes available here because it didn't scout these. Oh, actually, no, there you go. That helps us out a bunch. That's exactly what I was just talking about. Okay, we do indeed have a, a ghoul here. This guy's quite the big stress dealer. Um, he does have a decently high stun resist. Let's go for it anyways. Yes, there you go. Uh, yeah, we always start off with a head and tactics. Makes sense. We don't we don't actually need the mark, but I need to remember that for, for later because that's so useful. We set up the bleed to up his crit chance. A moment there you go. You'll get your turn, but it's gone. That helps us out a bunch. He's going to have high stun resist now, so let's just go for this. We did manage to get the blight, luckily enough. Go with Lacerate there as well. We even got a crit on him. That's big amounts of bleed already. We hit more of that. Okay, we're building up this. There you go. That's exactly what we wanted. Because with that amount on him, we can get through that prop and just cut straight through it, which I think is very important for us. Here it is. Wasn't expecting it so soon, but here it is. We need to stack up as much blight, bleed, everything on it as we possibly can. Because this thing can be a pain in the ass. Thank God that accuracy down. Uh, I didn't actually hit him. There you go. We're going to be stacking up bleed and blight and stuff with everyone. Okay. Hit on us there. We'll probably use some anti-venom next time around on that turn. Turn to the stars. Okay, we need to destroy that. Stress is going to be a problem here. Um, oh, that cures him as well. Oh, that's that's gross. I think we do this. Try and destroy that. It didn't destroy it. That's very bad. Now we have to do this because it has to destroy it. Good. 
Okay, Vorpal Strike hurts. Yep. It's the stress that's the main problem, really. Nice. Vorpal Strike again? Really? Okay. That's not good. I probably could have done that there, but I don't think that's the, the right play. Return to the Stars. It's really annoying that Return to the Stars cures his Blight and Bleed. I did not know that was the case. Right, so we're going to have to do this here. Thank God we got a 20 heal there. And Felter's going to have to take this out, I think. I think Felter's going to have to take this out. Route, you absolutely love Felter, don't you? You really want her to die. Um, three to six. Yeah, we have to. We have to do this. I don't like doing that, but we have to. Yeah, this is the way that we've got to do this now. I reckon stress is going to get quite out of hand here, but we have to keep playing like this because he's just he's just going to keep taking that blight and bleed off of him. And we have to keep stacking it on. I think it does the damage. Like, it seems to be doing some damage to him when he when he sheds it. But it only does it for one round. It doesn't do it over multiple rounds like it should. That's the big problem. We can shard. At least he's getting mana 15 crits received. That's very nice. Um, yeah, we're going to do this again. It's, it's a bit of a risk because this thing can do a lot of damage. But I think it's the right play. Right, so now we do... That's not going to do enough. I think we just do the team heal here. This thing's going to get a turn now, I think. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. We should be good. First of all, let's do that. Yes, there you go. Good. Okay, he should be dead now. Even if he does his thing to the stars, this should kill him. Just about. No, it won't quite. Be like one HP. Okay, seven HP. Uh, right, head and tactic, go ahead. I love the little dog noise. Okay, and we should be just about good to go with this guy. That was that was risky, but we managed to cut through quite easily. I did actually have a very good team for that. One moment. Okay, uh, I am back, but only for a brief second to just say that I really fucked up. I um, I had to go very briefly to answer a phone call, and I clicked escape to pause the game, and it closed the loot menu, and I lost all of the loot. So then, luckily, it's only 15. It wasn't like 30, but still, that was really dumb. And yeah, I'm going to have to finish my phone call. Be right back. Okay, I am back. That ended up being a lot longer of a break than I expected it to be. And like I said, we did unfortunately delete the rewards, which I'm super upset about. Genuinely super upset about. But that's how it's got to be. Let's go to this room and we'll camp after this room, I think. Uh, yeah, we'll camp after this room. See if we get any more campfire. Uh, wood. That would be insane if we did. No, we didn't. Okay, good. Uh, right, let's keep going. Uh, I think we should camp up here and try and reduce stress a little bit because everyone's a little bit stressed out. Let's see how this goes. We've got plenty of food here, so we can do that. Right. First of all, let's check for um, camp. Do we, oh, damn it. Do we, oh, there you go. Prevent nighttime ambush. Cool. We do have it there. Uh, we also have removed disease. Uh, I don't think anyone else has diseases. No, it doesn't look like it. So we'll just um, we'll just do this first. Prevent nighttime ambush. And then I think we go... I think we just do this. I'm just lower everyone's stress down. And then, let's see. Yeah, let's just do that as well. I think that sorts everyone out mostly. We'll rest up and also we'll do another diary entry while we're here. We have one for Sean, our hive, again by TA. The local practitioner has taken interest in me apparently. They've asked me excitedly if they could have a moment of my time. Their voice muffled through the mask on their face. They wanted more than a moment. I sat patiently for nearly an hour as they poked and prod and took samples, explaining how each and every test and experiment they would perform would take them a step closer to a cure. They worked with great passion and for the common cause of destroying the horrible disease forever, so I remained for as long as he needed. Additionally, my brother had refused to speak to me since we've re reunited. I am grateful to see him alive, but he is different. 
I find him to be lacking the same compassion and understanding he did before the courtyard turned. Perhaps the stress of his travels have wore him down a bit. Some rest will do him some good. So that's actually an interaction between Sean, our hive, and our uh, plague doctor here, Isaac. He's coming out to do some research. Maybe after his speak with um, with Sean, he's decided that he needs to collect more samples out in the wild. And so he's come out to do exactly that. that that's very possible. Uh, ooh, what do we do here? Um, this will give us a positive quirk. I think we take it on you because you're lacking positive quirks right now. Warren's adventurer. Perfectly fine with me. Good, good, good. These last two rooms, I'll have our... Uh, have our things in it, I think. I think we've still got two left. Yeah, we do. So this will be our last two here. Um, we've only got two shovels, so let's not do that yet. There's one of these. Drag that in. There you go. We do have the opportunity to fight here. We do have the opportunity to fight, and it is tempting. I'll tell you that. It's very tempting to give that a go. Oh, we do, we do have a treasurer here. The infamous treasurer. Um, I think we do that. There we go. That's great. Eight damage on him. That should that should do enough to, to take him out, I think. Hopefully we can get the accuracy to hit him and to kill him, but we'll see. Ooh, that was quite a big hit, actually. Quite a big hit indeed. Wow, I think, uh, yeah, we're going to have to team heal here. The wounds of war can be healed. Okay. I think we do this to try and get the uh, bleed on you. It didn't bleed you, unfortunately. And we go for that. Dodge again. I think he is almost... He's almost dead. He's two points off, though. And we're probably going to miss out on him here, most likely. He'll get his next move here. Get away. That's going to up his dodge, but the blight should kill him. The blight should kill him. I'll do this as well. Yeah, there you go. Just in case, that's definitely going to kill him now. While you're stealthed as well, that helps out a bunch. Blanket fire coming in again. We'll just keep using the group heal here, though. Uh, I think that's going to work out best for us. There we go. Tops everyone off. And we're going to do that to hurt you two. And... Let's just go for you. I don't really want to go for him, considering he's definitely going to die on his next turn. Rain of whips. We managed to dodge that. Nice. Wasn't expecting that. There you go. We got the treasurer. Let's get some blight on you. Let's try and load you up with some. We could do that as well. A little bit of damage. You got a bleed as well. Very nice. Oh, really? Another miss? Felfer. I know you've only got one arm, but come on. Please. There we go. That's a big hit of damage there. This is a really good dot group. Surprisingly so as well. It, it wouldn't seem to be as good as it is, but it, it really is doing a great, great amount of uh, damage here. We did get knocked back here, but that's fine. This is pretty much him done now, I think. He's going to take so much damage here. Yeah, that's basically him done. Really? Doesn't matter, but that's a lot of dodges. Right, um... Grab around there. And... Yeah, we can just tap on that, can't we? This actually finishes off the quest. I'm... I'm very tempted to go for the um, the graveyard again here. I'm not sure if it's the best idea for me, but I'm really tempted. Because we can just dip out if things start to go poorly. Um, and I think we have the DPS to do this. Uh, let me go and take a little look at the um, at the enemies, maybe, and we'll, we'll, we'll see how, how best we perform against this. Because we have fought this before, but I think it could be an interesting, uh, an interesting fight for us. So let's go and have a little look. One second. Okay, I think we can handle it as long as we prepare properly. And one of the things we need to do to prepare is I think we take off this and put on this. And although this has a relatively high chance to stun ourselves, uh, I say relatively high, it's not ridiculously high. I still think it would be better for us to take that. Um, I could also go with this instead of the herding tactics. I think that's probably better. Let's go with a full-on defense build. And let's try this out. It's risky, I realize. But let's try it out. Uh, one thing I do need to check as well is how we activate it. One second. Okay, we do just have to touch the graves. Remember, we can dip out at any point if things don't look like they're going well. So let's just go for it. Let's try it out. See what we can do. The Banshee's here once more. 
tragic memories. In they come. This guy does have three moves. He does have very high blight resist, but very low bleed resist. Also quite high stun resist as well. I think we do better by just buffing hair up for now. I think that's going to be best for us. Um, and I think... Hmm. We don't need to do that yet. I think let's do that to start. He resists the stun, good. Just lowers everyone's stress a little bit. Bad apple coming in, that's the blight. As long as we can get rid of the blight, we should be okay. The stress here is what I was worried about. The horror. We do have the ability to cure horror. Um, let's get that going. Nice. Okay, yeah, he, do, he can heal himself, but luckily that doesn't get rid of that bleed. I think we just keep stacking the bleed as high as we can here. And that's going to be the best way to do this. He, he will pretty much passively take out the wench on his own, the mother. Uh, so we can normally stay pretty safe from that. But we do have to remember that that's something that exists. A mournful drift puts you to the front. Okay, go for the hit again. More stress coming in. It's the horror. Obviously, just keep, it keeps stacking up. But we can clear horror. So we don't worry about that too much. And we're going to do that again. Okay, so... I think here we do that, and then we do this. We don't have to stress heal yet, so I think we just normal heal for now. That blight's a problem. It's okay, it's okay. Sober up. That's the heal, isn't it? Oh no, that just gets rid of his debuffs, and uh, I think gets rid of some of his um, DOTs. It's okay. Let's lower the accuracy here. Sets up that on you as well. Unfortunately, we didn't actually hit it on him, which is the person we need to hit it on. Uh, but look, we got a dodge there as well. I think we keep coming in with that. Three over three. Um, I still think we go for the group heal. I think it's more important right now. Okay, move you to the front. We're going to knock that off. I know it's only six damage, but I think it's worthwhile. And we hit you again. 13 over 3. That's good. Miasma. That is going to be a lot of stun. Oh no, that's not stun. That's just minus 30 dodge. That's okay. Okay, horror. That's very high. We, we want to try and get rid of that. We want to try and get rid of that. Um, What's your stun resist like? Let's stun you. Stop you from doing anything. Moves you to the front as well, which is actually kind of good for us. Cattle prod's going to hurt. Yep, thought so. Hmm, okay. This is getting tough. Nice. This is getting a little tough. But we're consistently getting the damage off on the on him, so I think that's fine. I think we do that. Sets up on both of them. As much as I want to get rid of this horror... I think we just do that, because this he stress heals us anyways. Just go for the big heal. Okay, that's alright. You're almost down as well, and you're still stunned. Took you a while to get your turn. There's the horror. Horror's actually, it's not doing us too badly here. Our stress still management, uh, still management, manageable. Sober up. I think you're dead here, aren't you? Yeah. So I think we just go with this and try and get the blight on you we did get it nice okay good the banshee is taking damage and you're pretty much dead now aren't you we need to get a group heal going on here more anguish we resisted the horror i didn't even know that was something we could do it's very nice to see that we can resist that horror 17 over 3 wow it's annoying, she doesn't get turns for ages, so this bleed and blight's not really applying. <laughs> We're having to wait forever for it to apply. There you go. 33. Wow. Okay. So this one, I think, if I remember correctly, we just attack him. Let me go and check, though, because I don't wanna I don't wanna do that wrong. So let's first of all do. Yeah, let's do this to start. And then one moment. Let's uh, let's see. Okay, we've got these guys together forever. 
He does the guard. Right. Let's go and check on that once we get our turn. We still don't get our turn. Come on. Kiss goodbye. Okay, that's actual damage. I didn't realize she could do actual damage and a debuff. Right, one moment. Okay, I'm not 100% sure which one we should go for first. I'm just going to go for him because he's not, like, he's guarding. I'm going to have to go for him right now. Head stealer. Ooh, damn. That is not, I was not expecting a hit like that. Be very cautious here. Let's just heal ourselves up big. Yeah, that's great. That's fine. Um, you're going to have a relatively high blight resist, but I think this should still work. Yes, it did. Good. There you go. So that's what we like to see. And a nice dodge there as well. Intoxicate. And another nice dodge. Great. Do that again. Yeah, these DOTs are really, really good against these. Doing a lot of damage. That kiss could buy. Oof, thank God we dodged that. Come on, hit him again. Yes, that's insane damage. He's he's almost dead. Taking on some more horror. Intoxicate. That is going to be some blight. Oh, no, just a mark. We resisted the blight. Nice one. By the way, I do realize that I could... Um, buff, well, get our uh, uses of invigorate, emboldening vapors back, but I'm not doing that yet because I don't think it's entirely necessary. Let's get the vent going. A bit more bleed. Okay, this is crazy. 32 for a hit there. And we keep getting dodges as well, which is even better. Even better. Taking a hit there, but the group heal will solve that. Okay. And we got a crit. Wow. That's insane. Alluring pheromones. Ooh, I did not know that he could do that. That was insane. <laughs> I was not expecting it to do that much damage there. Let's do that again. Lowering that accuracy on this front guy is mainly why I did that. It's going to make things a bit easier for us. There you go, group heal coming in nicely. 43. Insane. Absolutely insane. Kiss goodbye. Ow. Luckily we resist the debuff. That's really what we want to avoid. So you're gonna die. You're not gonna die. Okay. We'll, we'll kill you then. Actually, that gave us a heal as well. Nice. Overwhelming remorse. Okay, next phase starts anyways. Okay, we got this thing now. This thing is what we want to be blight and bleeding. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to blight it very easily. But we got a hit anyways. That's great. Um, yeah, this thing we just want to blight and bleed the hell out of. Now we'll use this. Doesn't matter who we hit with that. Oh, wait, no, it does. Oh, damn. I think it does matter. Okay, stunned that thing for us. I think th I think in this one, we uh, it works against itself sort of thing. Come on, Marble Light. Yes. Okay, we did get the stress, but that's okay. Um, I think we actually just go for the stress heals here. Nice. Nice. This is chunky. We are hitting 26 already, and it's going to keep going up. He does have three actions, though. Ow. Luckily, meager damage. But with this thing having multiple turns, it takes multiple rounds of blight and bleed very quickly. Eternal anguish. There's the horror coming in. That's a lot of horror. A lot of horror. We're stacking it up there. He's only got one more to go. Okay, nice. Still resisting that. Just trying to offset this horror that's incoming. Okay, this is slightly problematic. We should we should see him go here, or, or very nearly. He's got 13 health. Yeah, not quite, but nearly. The chilling caress definitely hurts us. And the stun is, is obscenely bad. Okay, good. There you go. We see it go. 
and we made it through. I wasn't expecting us to do as well as we did there, but the DOT is very, very good there. We all get cured. And nicely, we all uh, get some rewards and our stress healed. My husband returned, but the first visit... Oh, we've, we've read that one already. Uh, and here we get a trophy. So we got the uh, Banshee's Hand Axe. That's pretty interesting. Um, yeah, let's just throw away those and those and those. Just grab. Grab. 15% damage uh, melee skills and 15% damage versus Blighted. Interesting. I like that. Cool. Let's end off this quest, and it's a good place to end it. Quest complete. Don't think we got too much gold out of that, but that was still a very positive run. May yet arrest this plague. And we should get everyone to level 5 there. Ooh, not quite. I wasn't expecting the, these guys to get uh, a little bit less. That's pretty nice. Nice, lot, nice amount of stun resist. I thought them guys would hit the next level, but not quite, unfortunately. Right, let's make sure these guys have their uh, trinkets off of them. We'll sort them out again. We don't need to stress relieve them, luckily. Uh, anyone else to bring in? Doesn't look like it. Um, and let's check if there's any good trinkets to buy. Lamia, with the stun chance, blight chance, and speed. Not great. Pogatia there. Prot and dodge. Interesting. Librarian with the... That's a lot of extra damage. That's, you could turn Liberia into a damage build with that. It's kind of interesting. Um. Okay, apparently uh, this guy has specific loot that he can drop. Do you know what? Let's buy that and we'll we'll try it out. See how it see how it um, works alongside some of our other stuff here. And let's have a little look. See if there's any of these that we want. Um. Musketeer, no. That one's very cute. I like that. The chew toy. Okay, I don't think there's anything there that we particularly want or need. Um, either way, that's uh, been a very good episode. Uh, we do have one more diary entry to end off the video. And this is again by TEA from an old banished hunter. An old soldier came to me, Berthold. He had been acting as the town guard recently, and he had apparently found evidence of David, an engineer from my city, being murdered by one of the townsfolk, a demon in disguise. He requested my aid in confronting her, and, and as of now I'm undecided. And then the local guard say, This is my first real report. I was patrolling around the town in Berthold's, or um, Berthold's orders when I found something very interesting. A small stash of weapons, gunpowder, and food. It's a bit of a distance from the wall, but I assume it's from some of the raiders around here. So naturally, I confiscated it. On my way back, I almost had a, I almost had a small encounter with some of those rabid dogs. No serious wounds, but I won't be doing that anytime uh, soon. I'll be exploring the surroundings a little more to see if there's any more of these stashes. Let's hope not. So it seems that some uh, bandits are setting up camp nearby. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Another good one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.